Welcome to the Power of Owning Your Career podcast, the show for women who are seeking more fulfillment in life and simply not getting it from their current situation. We focus specifically on careers, but hey, we spend a lot of time in our careers, so making changes here will definitely create an impact in your overall happiness. I'm your host, Simone Morris, and my mission is to empower women to succeed. I believe that in order to powerfully own your career, you must decide and claim that you want to sit in the driver's seat. You must know that you deserve better and be willing to not only do the requisite work, but be willing to go out on a limb to ensure your success. Each episode focuses on profiling a leader who is clearly demonstrating ownership of their career. Join me and my guests as we explore career journeys and bring you actionable strategies to use to get into the driver's seat for your career, because ultimately your career is your responsibility. Let's get into the show. Hey everybody, it's Simone Morris. Thank you for being a loyal listener of the Power of Owning Your Career podcast. I'm so pleased to announce that we are at the end of season three, 51 episodes later, and we're at the end of season three. Like I said, I'm super excited because there's no slowing down. We are going to continue moving forward with the podcast, having amazing guests share their stories about what it takes to get into the driver's seat for your career and resources that will be helpful to you as you continue on this journey of soaring in your career. I am pleased to partner with you and take this journey with you. I've learned a lot during the past three seasons. One of the things that I learned was that most of our guests read a lot. Most of them shared valuable books that have been impactful to them in their careers. And so if you're not reading, I want to encourage you to start to read and um, to invest in yourself to grow in your career. So reading is a must. I think for me, doing the podcast is immersing myself in career education. Every interview I do, I feel as though I'm being poured into by these different guests as they share their story and their wisdom. And so I really do appreciate that. So I would suggest to you is to continue to listen to the podcast, take notes, get the lessons from each of the episodes, but also hone in on the books that are being recommended in the episodes. That's one lesson that I really learned. And I I also learned that a lot of people take calculated risks, but there was also a lot of guests who said they just went for it. They went for it and they took the lessons from whatever it is they went for. So I think for me, it gives me a better appreciation for taking more risk in my career and for going after my dreams. And after all, this podcast was a dream that just came to me after writing The Power of Owning Your Career book. So I would say go for your dreams. And I've had people ask me whether or not it makes sense for your career to host a podcast. And I would say resoundingly yes, because it is just an educational opportunity for you. It's an opportunity to build your personal brand. It's an opportunity for you to build strategic relationships through networking with others that come on your podcast. And and there are people that reach out consistently about wanting to be on the podcast. So I I don't see any drawbacks of hosting a podcast. I will tell you that it's a lot of work behind the scenes and there's consistent learning. I'm actually going to be doing a podcast virtual summit in 2020. And so that's exciting for me. I, I love doing the podcast so much that I have two podcasts at this point. I have this podcast, The Power of Owning Your Career podcast, as well as the Inclusion School podcast that I host with Julie Kratz. So 
that is another passion of mine, inclusion, and I get to explore that a great deal in the Inclusion School podcast. So you know that I must like doing podcasts if I'm doing two, and I'm also going to be a speaker at a podcast summit, online summit uh, in 2020. So that's really exciting. And And these are things that have come about as a result of doing the podcast. I appreciate the people who take a moment to send me a note and let me know how the podcast has impacted their lives. And I I really uh, get fuel from those messages. So I will say that if you have not already given a five star on uh, the iTunes or wherever it is you're listening to the podcast, I would really appreciate you giving a rating, hopefully a five star for the podcast, just to grow listenership and um, to indicate to others that this is a valuable listen and that they will be inspired by the stories they hear as well as pick up valuable resources that they can immediately implement in their careers. I took a look at the data for the podcast and I want to tell you that there are episodes that have done increasingly well in terms of downloads. The top 10 episodes for the three seasons, let me share that with you because we've got uh, season two, episode 13. That is the most downloaded episode, and that's the episode with Kanika Talver, and she talks about how to be a brand and not an employee, and it's an insightful, inspiring conversation with strategies that you can leverage in that episode. So that, again, that's been uh, widely downloaded, and so I think if you haven't listened to that episode, you want to go ahead and listen to that episode, because we talk about the driver's seat, and and it's a fun conversation, and, and as I said, you will learn from that episode. The other episode that is doing increasingly well is a fun episode where I had a conversation with Marie Mann, and she talks about how to go out on a limb and find your fruit in your career. And I I think that has a lot to do with taking risk, as I just talked about. So if you want to hear more about how you get comfortable with taking a risk and hear also a great career story about how Marie moves to Paris and takes on this new opportunity, and uh, it's just a great episode. So I would highly recommend that episode as well. Season three, episode 10, Be True to Who You Are, is with Kim LaChapelle. She's a franchise owner and a coach, and she left her full-time opportunity when she realized that she wasn't as valued as she wanted to be. And some of you may be able to relate to that, where you're not feeling valued in the workplace and, and wanting to do something different. And so this is an episode where Kim talks about where she really decides to be true to herself and advises others to do the same. The next episode is season three, episode two with Sherelle Gross, who talks about really carving out 10 minutes a day, I would say, to pour into yourself, to nurture yourself and to soar in your career. So that was the advice that Sherelle imparted to us. And um, that episode has been uh, another one of the good ones that have, have been downloaded quite frequently. Now, let me say all episodes are good episodes and great episodes. What I'm sharing is data from the listeners of the podcast and what they're liking. So it's not to say that all the episodes aren't great, but these are the ones that are most frequently downloaded for the podcast. This next episode was one of my very favorite episodes. Season three, episode eight, I sat down with Tina Clements and she talked about jump and the net will appear. The conversation was like a conversation with a good girlfriend where I just pulled up a chair and we had a wonderful conversation. It felt like it was over a wonderful meal and Tina just, she just brought it. I have to say that I only met Tina once before the interview and I was super impressed by her. 
and immediately at the break time, I, I mentioned to her that I would love to have her on the podcast and she came and I just really, really enjoyed our conversation. So that's a great episode, uh, season three, episode eight with Tina Clements. Season two, episode 10, dream big and work hard really hard with Rokmini Reddy, who is the vice president of engineering for Abstract, and she manages about 45 engineers. And I really love this episode because Rokmini really has a wonderful story about just leaving India and traveling to the United States and really creating legacy for her family. And she talks about having someone raising their hand to her in the workplace and how she handled it. And I just thought it was just an inspiring episode. And clearly the listeners thought so as well, because that was one of the top episodes that have been downloaded. So I I would recommend that you listen to that interview as well. Season three, episode five, rewrite your career story. And that's with Valerie Gordon. Valerie Gordon is an award-winning producer who has worked at HBO, who has worked at ESPN. And she talks about exiting her career at the top of her game, where she just decided that she wanted to rewrite the next chapter in her career. And she shares with with us how she went about doing so. Very, very inspiring. The next episode is episode 16, and that is with Shannon Malkin Daniels, who is, she is a startup founder, a tech startup founder for Encaptive. And she's doing extremely well in her business. But she talked about the ability to really be fearless in pursuit of the driver's seat. And I really love that message because fear can really stall us in what we're trying to do. And Shannon talked about how she was able to navigate her career by being fearless and walking her talk and good advice in that episode as well. The next episode is a recent episode that I did with Precious Williams, where she talks about don't give up, keep going. That episode is super inspiring. The amount of adversities that Precious has overcome is just amazing. It is a raw episode, let me say, because uh, Precious is pretty authentic in her sharing and or her sharing of the things that has happened to her and how she's been able to become what she calls herself the killer pitch master and how you can pitch yourself in your career. And I think that has to do with fearlessness as well. So listen to that episode as well. And then finally, to round out the top 10 episodes of the podcast is my very, very good friend, Bridget McGowan Hawkins, who comes to us and talks about the ABCs of owning your career. Bridget is amazing. She's an award-winning international speaker, a presentation skills coach, an author. Um, She's own publishing company, just doing really, really great things. And she talks to us about owning your career and gives us solid strategies that we can use in our careers. So I think this is yet another episode that you will enjoy. I will put all these episodes in the show notes because I know that's a lot to remember, but I did want to just highlight the top 10 episodes of the three seasons because there's 51 episodes. If you're just joining the podcast or just starting to listen, you may want to have a guide as to what to listen to first. And so this really helps you hone in on some episodes that our listeners are telling us are really valuable to them and they're listening to it repeatedly. So I I wanted to share that information with you. I also wanted to say thanks to the people that are listening to the podcast all over the world. 
in my wildest dreams, I had not imagined that people would be listening from so far away, but I am well pleased that people are listening in Paris, people are listening in Australia, someone is listening in Ecuador. I mean, as I look at the stats for the podcast, I am generally pleased that the message is making its way across the world in Germany, in the UK, in Ireland, etc. And I thank all the listeners globally that are listening to the message of what it takes to be in the driver's seat for your career. I want to encourage you to continue to listen to this podcast. I have numerous guests lined up for the next season. I'll be taking about two weeks off, two to three weeks off before the new season begins. But in the meantime, I'll be replaying some of the episodes that have done well, as I have mentioned. What I'd like to ask of you is to, if you have not already done so, is to give the podcast a rating on wherever you listen to the podcast, whether it's iTunes or Spotify or Google Play, wherever it is that you listen to the podcast, please go ahead and give it a review and rating so that other people can know that this is a podcast worth listening to and that they will pick up valuable tips and tools from the podcast. Plus, we have an amazing, amazing guest that come on the podcast. Podcast, so I would love your support in that. What I plan to do next is I plan to do a survey where you can give me your feedback because I really think it's valuable to hear what's working well for you, what you'd like to see happen as the podcast grows. And so you can expect to see a communication or hear a communication from me shortly about that survey. So that's what's coming next. Plus, I have some amazing guests, like I mentioned, that are coming up in the next season of the podcast. So thank you for being a loyal listener for the podcast. Please stay with me for this journey. It's going to be an amazing one. I wish you continued success in your career. If I can be of any support to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can do so by going to call with simone.com and booking a call on my calendar or you can send me an email at smorris at simonemorris.com thank you so much for being a loyal listener of the power of owning your career podcast thank you for listening to the power of owning your career podcast it is my hope that you enjoyed today's episode you can check out the show notes for this episode on the Simone Morris Enterprises.org website by clicking the podcast menu. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and tell a friend or two about it. 